What's up guys? Welcome to DFS by the Numbers. This is my first look cash build for week seven of the NFL. Uh, doing things a little bit differently this week. Going to be doing this cash build um, from a first look perspective, the, the cash build that I came up. Um, and of course, it's going to change throughout the week. Um, I'm most definitely probably not going to use this lineup, but just from a first look perspective, uh, some of the plays that really stuck out to me. Um, so going to get into all of that. And then I'll be doing a video later in the week going over my favorite plays. Um, so just doing things a little bit different this week, and I am about a day behind because I had to do a ton of UFC stuff. But um, with that said, we're going to get into it. Before we start the video, if you guys can leave a like, subscribe if you have not yet. Would appreciate that a ton. But with that said, we are going to get into this first look build. And up top at quarterback, I mean, there are so many good options. Russell Wilson, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Kyler Murray, Aaron Rodgers, they're all in play. Even Deshaun Watson. So I think they're all in play. Um, I do think my favorites are going to be uh, Kyler Murray, um, Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson are probably my top three, but uh, I really like Kyler Murray, especially in cash. Um, 7,100 versus Seattle, 56-point uh, game total here, and the Cardinals are three-point underdogs. And Seattle is actually dead last against the QBs so far this year. Uh, you get a nice floor with Murray and a solid ceiling, especially in this matchup. Um, against Seattle here. So Murray is averaging 28.1 DraftKings points per week, and he's also averaging 8.5 rushing attempts per game as well, which is awesome to see, especially from a cash game perspective. You want quarterbacks that are going to go out there and get you that nice floor uh, with those rushing attempts, and Kyler Murray does just that. Uh, 10 rushing attempts in week six against Dallas, uh, nine against uh, the Jets in week five, six, five. So yeah, he's definitely going out there. He's running the ball a lot. He has high touchdown upside and especially on a game with a 56 point total, which I believe is one of the highest, if not the highest on the slate this week. Um, I really like Kyler Murray and I'm definitely going to plug him in in cash. And plus you're getting a nice savings off of Russell Wilson, someone who I think is a really good play, but you're getting about a $900 savings off of him. So Kyler Murray, I have no problem plugging him in there at quarterback for the first spot in the first look build. And getting into running backs here, and again, there's some great options up top, but I think Kamara is probably my favorite option on the slate here. And, you know, versus Carolina here, 7900 I like the price. I think it's fine. 51-point um, game total, and the Saints are 7.5 favorites. So the thing is, Michael Thomas is going to be returning. So I do think it hurts Kamara, but I don't think it's going to hurt him all that much. Um, and going against the worst run defense in, le in the league in Carolina here. Uh, Carolina has given up the most points to running backs this year as well. Um, you know, elite pass catching ability with an extremely high ceiling in Kamara. I mean, look at some of the targets. He's getting 10 targets in week five. Um, he did have 14 targets in week three. He had that monster game as well uh, where he scored 38 points. Um, he definitely has that ceiling. And you can't really ask for a better matchup here uh, against Carolina. I know they're going to use Murray. Um, in some spots, but still with the usage he's getting, he's still getting a decent amount of rushing attempts, 11 in week five, 19 in week four, but he's also getting that elite, um, you know, reception ability and eight receptions last week, three, 13, nine. Um, so I really like Kamara. I like him in cash. I like him in all formats and I'm definitely plugging him into that lineup. And this week in cash, I'm probably going to pay up for running backs. I don't like, you know, some of the running backs. I think there's some decent value options, but really, I think uh, I'm going to pay up in my cash build, and Kamara is definitely the first step to that. Uh, the other guy I'm looking at in cash is Aaron Jones versus Houston, another guy with a fantastic matchup, 57-point game total. So that is the highest game total on the slate, and the Packers are 3.5-point favorites. He's averaging 23.6 DraftKings points per week, and he did have that, that big game in, uh, in week two. He had 48 DraftKings points as well, and Houston has been awful against the run this year, and Houston has also given up the fifth most DraftKings points to running backs as well, so a uh, high upside play in a game that has the highest expected game total. I would not be surprised if he found the end zone a couple times, and uh, Packers are also expected to be in front a lot of this game, You know, probably leading to uh, some more Jones here and, and less Williams. Usually they'll bring Williams in there uh, when they're trailing to uh, use him in the passing game but um you know they can use jones in the passing game as well five targets five targets four eight um so they're at they're definitely using him in the passing game which i do like to see and at 7200 versus houston i think that's a, a very good play I'm going to plug him in there and then moving into wide receivers and you know i would love to just plug in deandre hopkins i think hopkins is the best wide receiver play on the slate most expensive um, but the problem is, if you do pay up for running back, you cannot go up there and get Hopkins. I tried it, um, and it's not going to work out, but I would love to get Hopkins in that lineup. Um, but going down 
finding some value here since we are paying up at running back this week. And I like Terry McLaurin, 5,800 versus Dallas, 46-point game total. Washington is surprisingly a one-point favorite. Uh, just an amazing matchup here against Dallas, and I've been targeting this Dallas defense all year, and it's been working out fantastically. Uh, Dallas has given up the second most DraftKings points to wide receivers this year. Tons of targets each week from McLaurin. He had 12 last week, and he is averaging nine on the year, 9.5 on the year as well. So you can't really ask for a better matchup here against Dallas. Um, honestly, wouldn't be surprised if Dallas did get ahead at some point. Washington usually does come from behind in pretty much every game, it seems like. So McLaurin at 5,800, I really like the, uh, the volume that he's going to get. I really like the price. I really like the matchup at 5,800. Man, it's a very good price for McLaurin. Looking down for some more value here at wide receiver. And something that really stuck out to me was uh, the price of Deontay Johnson here. At 4,200, I know Claypool has been fantastic, but um, people are forgetting about Deontay Johnson here versus Tennessee. 50.5 point game total. The Steelers are one point underdogs. Expected to uh, play this week. I believe he's practicing on Wednesday, as far as I know. And he should be going back into that wide receiver two role. And he's just way too cheap for 4,200. Uh, when healthy, he did really well, scoring 23 and 10 points. Also had 23 targets. Uh, when he was fully healthy in week one and week two. And yeah, Claypool has definitely impressed, but he still gets, should get some decent usage this uh, this week here. And another thing, like Juju Smith-Schuster has been someone who has been really underperforming. Like Deontay Johnson was outscoring him like week one. Um, Claypool outscored him last week, the week before. So maybe, uh, you know, they're starting to kind of take over. And it's kind of weird to say because Claypool is actually more expensive than Juju Smith-Schuster this week, and I never thought in a million years I would see that. But, yeah, Deontay Johnson um, in a game that has a pretty solid total, total at 50.5, I think is a great option. Should be fully healthy coming in here. And uh, ben, Roethlisberger, ben Roethlisberger seems to really like this guy, so I have no problem putting Deontay Johnson in my lineup. All right, now we will go to our flex position, and then we'll head back to wide receivers. And uh, I really like the lineup so far. So Murray at quarterback, I'm probably going to keep that all week. And, and Kamara and Jones, I'm, that's probably stapled into my lineup throughout the week. McLaurin, I like. Johnson, I like as long as he plays. And um, going back to the flex here, and I really like – there's some guys I like. I like Joe Mixon at that price. Um, but I really do like, if I can find him, 6,800. There he is, Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt versus Cincinnati here, 50-point uh, game total, and the Browns are three-point favorites. Poor game last week, which could definitely lower his ownership. He had uh, 13 rushing attempts, uh, three targets, two receptions, only seven points. Um, so that definitely could lower his ownership there. Uh, better matchup this week against the Bengals. I mean, he did not have the best matchup at all last week against Pittsburgh. In my opinion, one, if not the best defense in the league this year. Um, and Hunt scored 24 points versus the Bengals earlier in the year, and that was with Nick Chubb playing. So he should have a very good game here as well. He should see that 20-plus 20, 20 touch upside against the Bengals run defense that isn't all that great. And I just think he's way too cheap at 6,800. I, I really do, especially like uh, in this matchup in a game that should score decently high. And I know he had that bad game last week, but I'm looking right past that. Um, you see it right there. Week 2 against Cincinnati, 24 DraftKings points. And like I said, that was with... Uh, Nick Chubb playing. So I am expecting a very good game here for Kareem Hunt. I know he's questionable. He should be good to go. Um, I think he's dealing with uh, some type of rib injury there, but he should be good to go. And I like him a lot in this matchup. And now we'll go ahead and plug in our defense and then come back to the rest here. But yeah, I'm liking the lineup so far. Um, so going down, I usually like punting at defense and it's definitely been working out. And uh, I think there's a really good punt option this week, and that is the Washington football team defense. 2,500 versus Dallas here. Low game total of 46 points, and they're also at home, which I really do like. They are averaging five DraftKings points per game. Um, and Dallas's offense and Andy Dalton looked really, really bad on Monday. Um, they do have sack upside. They do have 16 sacks total on the year. I just really love this punt defense at 2,500. Probably going to be my go-to defense this week in cash. I don't see that changing. All right, going into tight end here. And there really isn't many good options at tight end. I mean, you can go up and get Travis Kelsey. You can go up and get uh, Kittle. Um, Hawkinson's fine. Um, I'm really waiting to see, you know, what's going on with Font. What's going on with Smith? Are they playing? If they don't play, it's going to open up a bunch of opportunities. But just assuming they're playing, um, there really isn't much here. I mean, I like 
Um, Hayden Hurst at 4,400. I know it's not the best matchup in the world, but going down, I do like uh, Logan Thomas for Washington. Just uh, the matchup, 3,500 is very, very cheap. And it is a 46-point game total, and they are one-point favorites, uh, Washington there. And he did find the end zone last week uh, for the second time this year. Um, so they did price him up, I believe, $200 here. And he's getting around six targets per game, which I really do like for the price. And you're getting a great matchup here against this poor Dallas defense. And like I said, I love targeting this Dallas defense. Um, the targets are there. The matchup is there against Dallas. And it's very cheap as well. I like this uh, punt tight end play here. But uh, like I said, of course, it's, there's going to be open, there's going to be a bunch of opportunity throughout the week. So make sure you guys tune into the video. I'm going to try to get it out sometime on Friday, um, going over my full plays, all of my plays there, and hopefully, you know, some value opens up at tight end. Because although I do like Logan Thomas, I'd rather pay for someone who's like 2,500. Um, if some of like if fonts out, I think Firskers is like uh, 3,900 or something like that, 4,100 something like that. But um, hopefully, there is some value opening up. But if not, I'm fine with um, I'm fine with Logan Thomas at 3,500, and then we're left with 5,000 here. Um, Debo Samuel, uh, Julian Edelman, uh, Beasley, Kirk, and uh, I'm gonna go with Christian Kirk here at 4,900 um, against Seattle with a 56-point game total, one of the highest on the slate. He is averaging 11.1 DraftKings points per week. And Seattle has given up the most DraftKings points to wide receivers this year so far, which I really do like. And, uh, you know, Cardinals are 3.5 underdogs here, um, so they should be coming from behind. And he did have a big day against Dallas. Um, but what is concerning, he only had three targets, two receptions, but a, a decent day nonetheless. Um, and he scored 22, 12, and 10 the last three weeks. So he's been fairly consistent and just a really high game total in a game, uh, you know, the Cardinals should be trailing here coming from behind. So I don't I don't think uh, Christian Kirk is the is the worst option in the world. But um, like I said, I'd, I'd really like some value to open up at tight end later in the week. Uh, maybe like a 2,500 guy around there. And then maybe uh, improve the Kirk position. I'd rather get, I know there's some other guys I like at wide receiver. Um, but yeah, this is about all I got for you guys here. Just to quickly recap for the first look build. And like I said, this is definitely going to change. I'm most definitely not going to use this, but this is kind of what I'm looking at. And I like a lot of these plays. And, and a lot of these plays will stay the same throughout the week. But uh, Kyler Murray at quarterback. I like the rushing yard upside, the rushing yard floor. Fantastic matchup against Seattle. Alvin Kamara, Aaron Jones. I am going to be paying up for running backs. You see Kareem Hunt in the flex spot as well. Um, I love the matchup there as well. Should get a lot of usage. And then Terry McLaurin, someone who gets a lot of usage against that Dallas team that I do like to attack. Deontay Johnson's way too cheap. Um, Kirk at 4,800 should have some decent upside against a very bad uh, Seattle passing defense. Um, Thomas here at you know 3,500 going against that Dallas team I like to attack. Um, should get like five to eight targets a game or this game. Um, he's averaging about six points something. So um, the targets are there, price is there. And then the Washington football team defense I really like against the Dallas team that um, you know no longer has Dak. And Andy Dalton did not look all that great. Neither did uh, Ezekiel Elliott as well. So that's about it, guys. Make sure you guys check out my other content. I'll be putting um, my final thoughts video, all that good stuff, my final plays video, hopefully out on Friday, um, finishing everything up today. And then hopefully um, there's some injury news throughout the week. Stuff will definitely change. But if you have any questions, you know where to catch me. Uh, Twitter, DFS underscore numbers. Instagram, DFS by the numbers. If you guys want more content, if you guys want to see all my plays, I am on Patreon with the link below. Um, and uh, that's about all I got. And good luck on Sunday.